Hi everybody, Patrick here from www.engineeringshock.com. Uh, one of the coolest things that we've got, we've uh, uh, received recently that is on sale at engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com uh, is this wireless uh, volume controller. Now we don't have very many in stock right now. Uh, we're, we plan on purchasing more, but I wanted to give you an ex uh, I don't have it hooked up to an audio amplifier. You do need an amplifier. Uh, we do sell uh, inexpensive amplifiers that would work very well with it. I'll show you this, the, the circuit diagram uh, after I show you uh, a demonstration of it working. But what it is, is you, the board requires 9 volts. Uh, it comes with a transmitter that has uh, a volume up, which is A, volume down, which is B, button. Uh, you can actually slide the little thing closed so you can put it in your pocket if you want. The transmitter comes with a battery. The board has eight whole eight pins on it uh, nine volts in ground signal ground uh, left signal in right signal in and uh, output ground output left signal and output right signal so the output left the le left signal and right signal are hooked up into an audio amplifier and you, what you can do is you can you can play your iPod be down the street and wirelessly turn the volume up and down it's pretty cool but what I'm gonna do is I'm feeding a sign I'll, I'll feed a sine wave through it and I'll show you on my oscilloscope uh, what's going on, so you get a really good idea of what's of uh, of how this circuit is working. Now again, it requires nine volts. So let's turn the, our attention to my oscilloscope right now. I've got power on, but I've got no signal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip on my trusty signal generator, and um, uh, we're at a very very low voltage per division, which is which is why you need an audio amplifier for this. But again, I'll show you the block diagram in a minute. For right now, I'll just turn on my signal generator. So there's my sine wave. When you turn on the uh, when you turn this device on, when you power it on, it's automatically at the lowest volume setting. So let's just start turning it up. Oh, so I'll, I'll bring the voltage per division up a bit. So it's got about, I forget how many steps exactly it has. That'll be on the listing. But uh, it's got a ton of different steps from high to low. So, really, really cool. Uh, anyway, now I'll show you the circuit diagram. We need a 9 volt source to power the, uh, to power the, the volume control box. Um, I, as an example, if you take the output of an iPod, you get your left signal out, your right signal out, and ground from the iPod and you plug it into the left signal in ground and right signal in on the volume control board you just solder it in really quick uh, and then your last three pins are your right signal out ground and left signal out now those will have the that'll have the volume control on it and that'll go to your audio amplifier and then you can have your your speaker so I've got essentially that right over here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to power it up I've actually got a, uh, a wall ward hooked up to it, but it's a very, very short wall ward, so I'm going to use my DC power supply at 9 volts and my really cheap 1 watt uh, dollar store speakers. And so you're not going to get much out of this, but you'll, you'll, see, it, you'll see it in action. So what I'm going to do is I'll plug it in, I'll turn it on, and I'll show you. Okay, so uh, again, since uh, I've only got 9 volts on the audio amplifier, not going to be extremely loud, but I've got my... Uh, my uh, transmitter out. I'm going to start the music. You won't be able to hear because it's defaulted to a uh, very, very low volume, but and I'll start uh, adding volume now. You gotta love KISS. Again, dollar store speakers, so I'm going to start slowly decreasing the volume. Pretty cool, huh? So you can hook up these up to huge audio amplifiers. The only thing you got to worry about is making sure that the board only receives nine volts, no more, because you'll fry it. Uh, but the audio amplifier, you can put this into a car audio amplifier and re literally change the volume using your uh, your little transmitter here. So uh, if you're interested, uh, check us out at www.engineeringshock.com. Register with us or go to www.electroniclessons.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.